Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. You can check the description. Uh, Patreon, if you can. I put a bunch of resources up there. If you give me a buck, that would be great. Um, this is, We're doing all the Python problems on HackerRank. This is Python loops. We're getting into some tougher stuff here. So we get an integer n, like before, except now, for all non-negative integers i to n, print i squared. So see the sample for details. So if we get 5, we're going from 0 to 5 except 0 t equals 0 times 0, so we're going to square 0, that's 0, square 1, that's 1, square 2, that's 4, square 3, that's 9, and 4, that's 16. Um, so to do a loop in Python, we could do a while loop or a for loop. There's two different types of loops if you're unfamiliar. Um, let's do, let's crank out a little while loop here. So let's say i is equal to 0 while i is less than n so while this condition is true we do something right and i is something so let's imagine five n is five so i is zero while i is less than n we're going to do print i times i because that's squared right a number times itself is the square and then you just do i plus equals one so it'll keep looping and printing the next number so it'll be zero. And while this is true, we do this, right? So zero times zero, that's zero. And now it becomes one. And we're it loops over and over again. So now it's one. One times one is one. Add one, two. Two times two is four. And so on. And that'll accomplish exactly what we need. So when you square things, you can do the number times itself. But what if we wanted to cube things? Well, Python has a nice little built-in for exponents actually if you do double asterisk uh so not multiplication uh just do add an extra one of these guys uh you can do to any power and i think it'll still work yeah so to the power of two and then you can do to the power of three it's just a little bit of shorthand also there's like a math library uh where you could just do like math.pow so there's a bunch of ways to do exponents. That's a basic loop. If you wanted to do a different loop, there's something called a for loop, for i in range of zero to n, and then we just print i times i. This should work as well. Just a bunch of different ways to do it. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. On to the next one, and see ya.